Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. You know, having a good fish scale is important if you're a fisherman. Now, this is what I had for over 10 years. This is the best I've ever bought. Okay, um, as you notice, it does look the parts over 10 years old. And what makes this good is that it's, it's brass here. What's bad about it is it has a wooden handle. Because it has a wooden handle, after five of those 10 years, it's separated. But, you know, you can always glue it back in. It'll still last a little bit longer. So, how do I replace this? This is good. And the reason why it's good is because the rakes over here will rake the scales off. Okay, earlier this morning, I caught this fish. It's a Vecchi. Um, it's a Hawaiian goat fish. We call this a nightmare Vecchi because some people reported that if you eat the head, you'll get nightmares. So, I have no idea if this is true or not. But, you know, it, I don't eat the head, so I like it. It's good pan fried. So this is how you quickly clean it. See, this is a freshwater river here that's next to the place I was fishing. So I, it's a good place to clean my fish because it is fresh water. I use a scaler first. See, the scaler has the protective area here so the scales don't come flying back at you. See that? The scales do not come flying back at you, which is kind of a nice thing. All right. Aloha, guys. Got lucky. Got a uh, papil. Papil is known as a trevally in Hawaii that is under 10 pounds, okay? How do we clean it? All right, this is a scaler. I kind of like to do my stuff out in the field, especially when it comes to scales, because you try to do this at home, the girlfriend slash wife will be pissed, because you're gonna have scales that are flying. See, when it's wet, the scales don't fly, but when it's dry, oh, trust me, it's gonna go flying. Okay. This scaler is not bad. It's a Japan style scaler, but it has this area to catch all the scales at. Now, normally I give away my fish. I just thought, hey, it'd be nice if I just showed how to do this part of it. All right. Okay. So there we go. Running out of bucket, so I'm gonna. Use a bag. Okay. Some fish. These are opilu. These are yellow spot papil because they're yellow spots. These are young trevally. So what I, I'm gonna do first, see is I'm gonna scale the opilu really easy. Really, really easy. See all that? Those are scales. And if they come flying up, this little cup hold will, will catch it all there's one down this way when you punch up take it off I mean you can leave it on and just fillet it but I like to keep the skin on because if you ever fried the skin oh I like that crispy skin it's like having crispy chicken skin okay so all our galas in there so now we're going to oh this is such a good scaler look at the scales they just come right off literally right off look at that so fast now if you use a normal scale without this, the scales will be flying all over the place. That's if it's dry. You notice I wet the fish down first. If you wet the fish down first, the scales form a paste like this and it doesn't go flying. That's it. I might as well do both of them. Okay. So, grab the tail. 
cut the scoots off. That's one. Two. Okay. Nice. I like it when things move smoothly like this. So now we do the scales. Again, look how beautiful these scales just come right off. See, last time I did this, I had people coming around say, Cuba Chris. I get that at the bank and almost everywhere else I go every day. Kind of getting used to it though. Get all the skills off. There you go. What makes it so good? There's no sharp pieces, nothing to cut yourself on.